What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today, we're going over A Love Zero or A Zero, which is down 6% at 92 cents. As you can see, I'm a man of my word. I said if A Love Zero falls below a dollar, I will do a TA without my mask off. So, this in all its glory is what Trading Crypto looks like. So, with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on A Love Zero. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. So A of zero, we broke a year long uptrend right here. We actually are testing the 382. So hopefully this is just a bearish fake out. We actually broke below the support here at 93. Uh, next wick could bring us down to 77. Now I strongly believe we aren't gonna go to 77, but I also strongly believe that we weren't gonna fall below a dollar. So I can be wrong, I guess you could say. First thing we want to look at here is the WTX. WTX is in the green. We have not printed a buy signal yet. The lifetime of A0, we've only printed one, two, three, four, five, six buy signals on uh, the MACD or WTX. So I'd be waiting for a buy signal from there. We got the RSI sitting at a decent level with the MACD that just flipped bullish here. This is on the day chart. We will be looking at the short term time frame as well. I did pick up a large, very large bag of A Love Zero today, and it's actually my largest holding now. It just flipped my. Ethereum holding. So Alos Zero is my largest crypto holding. I think this thing could easily do, you know, $50 plus in the bull run. Uh, so let's go to the short-term time frame and see what the short-term time frame is kind of telling us. Short-term time frame right now, we got that buy sitting on the four hour. The RSI is already reset. The MACD is losing his our bullish momentum. So there is a good chance that we could be heading back up here to test this year-long uptrend as resistance back to 104. So who knows if we break above this 382 right here at 93.6, you can see there is kind of a price gap right here. And I think that would cause a retracement back up to around $1, $1.03. So $1 was a very critical support area, but now that we're below it, a dollar is going to act as a pretty heavy resistance area. The things that we have going for us though, are all the indicators are completely reset. There is a price volume gap here. We just need to re overtake the 618 here at around 93 cents. Now, short term, there is this downtrend we have to contend with. And that brings us to about that dollar range. You can see that 99 cents, $1 area. I think if we overtake that $1 area, we'll be good. And we can start working our way a little bit higher, but breaking out of a year long uptrend channel is not good news. So kind of concerning there. I'm not, not too concerned about this coin in the bull run by any means. If anything, it just means buying opportunity, which happened today. And I did pick up a decent sized bag of it. Um, but yeah, other than that, right now, I, in my personal opinion, I think this is a great buying opportunity for A of zero. We're below a dollar. We're testing this 382. Uh, people are waiting for possibly the 78, 77 cents. We might not touch it. Yes, we touched it back here in November 2022, but I don't think A of zero is going to be crashing ever since smart contracts launched and everything like that. They developed a lot more. There's a lot more in play than there was back here for A of zero. So we're just got to keep monitoring this day by day. You know, we topped out February 2023. Um, day by day but as of right now i think we're going to be hovering between you know this 90 to a dollar range for the time being until btc decides what it wants to do so good time to back the truck up i know i definitely backed the truck up today and loaded up on some a0 so with that none of this is financial advice and if there's any coins you'd like me to chart or if you just like to chat with me you can post them on my discord or on my twitter the links are below in the description